Why does this balloon float and this balloon sink? And why does this liquid always end up back on top no matter how much I move or shake this? See, let's find out together in this episode all about density. All of the random items that surround me in this room don't really seem to have anything in common other than they are all in this room. Some are glass, some are wooden, plastic, liquids, solids, and gases. But all these objects have two things in common. They all have mass and they all have volume. They take up space. Anything that has mass and takes up space is matter. Before we can jump into density, we first have to understand mass and volume. The mass of an object is a measure of how much matter it contains, how many atoms are contained in that object. The more matter it contains, the more mass it has. Mass is not the same thing as weight or how heavy something is. How heavy something is is determined by the pull of gravity on that object. So if the environment changes, the pull of gravity also changes. For instance, if we were on the moon, we would weigh one sixth of the amount that we do here on Earth because of the difference in gravity. Objects even weigh slightly less on top of a mountain than they would at sea level. But if you find yourself on top of a mountain or on the moon, your mass would be the same. The amount of you there is doesn't change. Volume is a measure of how much space an object takes up, not how loud something is. Well, volume is how loud something is, but we aren't talking about that kind of volume. We should really get more creative when labeling things. These two balloons are both made of latex. They currently have the same mass and the same volume. But if I add gas to this one, its volume increases. The overall mass of the balloon itself, the latex part, doesn't change. But the overall mass of this inflated balloon is greater than this deflated balloon. We'll come back to that. Gross. Density is how much matter is squeezed into an object, how compact the atoms are. We can envision this with these two balloons. They both have the same volume. They take up the same amount of space but inside they are made up of a different amount of atoms, which are represented by these foam balls. Same volume, but which balloon has greater density? The balloon with more mass, more atoms, or more foam balls. Density is mass divided by volume, or you can think of it as how much matter you have in a certain amount of space. If you have more mass in the same volume, like these guys, you have more density. But the same is true if we change it up a little. Like this. This balloon has less volume. It's a less inflated balloon, but the same mass. They have the same amount of foam balls. So which one is more dense? This one. The balloon with less volume, but the same amount of mass has greater density. If you're still here liking this video, let us know. And hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Another way to explore relative density is to see if an object will sink or float. So let's see which one of these will sink and which ones will float. Let's start out with these two objects. This is a ping pong ball and this is a magnetic ball. Clearly they have different volume, but let's take a look at their density. The ping pong ball floats and the magnetic ball sinks. So the magnetic ball has more density than the ping pong ball. Let's try out some of these objects. These three objects have very similar volume, but different mass. It floats. Last one. This is a rubber baseball filled with sand, maybe? Solids aren't the only objects with density. Liquids also have different densities. Here I have an assortment of different liquids. We are going to add them to this graduated cylinder to see their relative density. Oh, gloopy. Whoop. 
Now we have a density column. The liquids have settled out in order of their density. If you look closely, you can actually see some gas bubbles escaping to the top because those are obviously least dense. The most dense liquid here at the bottom is the molasses, and you travel all the way up to the least dense liquid, which is rubbing alcohol here at the top. What about gases? Both of these balloons are inflated, but one contains a mixture of gases from my personal lungs. So we have two balloons with the same volume. The two balloons have the same amount of latex molecules, so the balloons themselves have the same mass. But the mass of the gas inside of the balloons is now different. We already know that this balloon will fall or sink if I release it. But I have filled this balloon with a different gas, helium. This gas has much less mass, so that means that this balloon should have much less density. So it should float. That's not coming down anytime soon. Now we know density is how much matter is squeezed into an object. If you want to learn more properties of matter, you can check out this video next. Three, two,